Hey everyone, it's your girl D Princess 28 I shared on my blog that I would be recording a video of the hair and makeup look that I wore on my last date night with the hubby. This is the look I'm going for. I called it Bronze Goddess. If you'd like to see the picture that inspired the look, click the link in the info box. But first, let's do the makeup. So my lids have been primed with Too Faced Shadow Insurance and I'm going to be using the I Love New York palette by Urban Decay. I'm going to take this bronze color called Smog and with the regular shadow brush just deposit it all over the lower lid and I'm also going to um, sweep some into the crease. Okay, so after I've gotten that color on there, I'm going to take my smudging brush and go into this black color called Perversion. And it, I'm going to be using circular motions to smoke out the look. Basically, I want most of the color or the black uh, concentrated towards the outer corner of the lid, but I'm also sweeping some along the lower lash line and into the crease. And as you can see, I'm just going to continue to pack it on using those circular motions until I get the intensity I desire. Okay, so I think that's dark enough. Now I'm going to line the upper lids with liquid liner. I'm just doing a thin line. You can't see it that well because it's, I'm putting it over the black, but I'm just doing it so I'll have a guide to um, apply the falsies, which I'll get to in a moment. I'm now going to line the lower lids with Zero Eye Pencil by Urban Decay. And then with an angled brush, I'm going to go over it underneath the eye with some of that um, Perversion Black Eyeshadow. Not just to set the liner, but also just to smoke it out some more. And then I'm going to take my blending brush just to smooth everything out. And now I'm taking Golden Retriever by Prestige, and I'm just going to apply some of this to the inner corners of the lids. Just give it a nice little golden highlight in the inner corner. Lastly, I'm going to take the highlight color in the Enchanted Forest palette by Maybelline, and I'm going to use that as my highlight. Again, I'm taking a blending brush just to smooth everything out. To finish up the eyes, I'll be applying falsies off camera. These are EL 104s by NYX. And I just applied those to the outer corners of the lid. And as you can see, the glue is still drying. So now I'm going to move on to the face. I'm going to apply my um, powder foundation, my uh, pure mineral. I'm going to start by dragging some underneath the eyes just to catch the fallout from the black eyeshadow. And then I'm going to continue to um, just paint over the blemishes that I wish to cover up. Once that's done, I'm going to take some blot powder by MAC just to set the foundation. I couldn't really call this a bronze look without the bronzer, so I'm going to take some golden bronzer and with a big fluffy brush, apply that to the area right above the apples of the cheeks as my highlight. And then I'm going to take some Raisin Powder Blush by MAC and apply that to the apples of the cheeks. And I'm also going to sweep it up towards the hairline. And again, I'm going back in with some Blot Powder just to set the face. To finish off the look, I'm going to be doing a pink lip. This is Sweetie by MAC. It's just a light pink color. And I'm going to top it off with Star Nova by MAC which is a luster glass. And that's it for the makeup. Mwah. Let's move on to the hair. 
Okay, so I'm gonna start by taking some of my Bronner Bros Extra Light Super Grow Hair Grease to moisturize my edges, which as many of you who've been following me know that I have to baby since they fell out and have grown back. And I'm just gonna take my little brush and smooth it in. And I'm gonna take these little buns out. I, I actually washed my hair the previous day and allowed it to air dry. And um, I've just moisturized it to um, set the bun out. Now, I only did two buns, so as we know, um, the less buns you use or the larger your buns, the looser the waves will be. So it's not going to be a tight bun out. But um, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and start separating the buns with my fingers. I'm just going to finger comb through the hair. And as you can see, I'm just going to go ahead and speed this up. My main goal right now is just to fluff the hair out and to cover up the part because I did a center part down the middle. So as you can see, I'm turning around to the back so you can see how I'm trying to cover up that part, which you can still see at the top. But um, I'm going to continue to manipulate the hair with my fingers. And I want to create an off-center part. So I'm going to do that. And I'm actually going to go in with a comb to make it more sharp. I have to admit that when I initially took my hair down, I had no idea what I was going to do with it. And then I just decided to start twisting one of the sides, and I liked how it looked. So I said, uh, let's roll with this. So what I'm going to do is just make a big twist going along the perimeter of my head. But I'm doing it only on one side so that I can sweep all the hair over to one shoulder. And I'm turning around the back so you can see how I'm going to use bobby pins to secure this twist. I like this because it gives it kind of like one of those Grecian looks. So I just went in with some bobby pins and used my fingers to fluff it out and that's it. Um, you know I could have slicked my edges down with some gel but I actually don't have any and since my hair is not straight I didn't really see any need to but that's it. Hope you like this tutorial. Stay tuned for pictures. If you want to see the list of the products used, click the link in the info box. Mwah! That's it. Hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. Stay tuned for more vids on the way.